Hi folks, thanks a lot for tuning in to the Goalie Llamas channel. I really appreciate it when you hit that like button and when you hit that subscribe button. It really helps my channel out a lot. And if you like what you see, like and subscribe to my channel. And if you really don't like what I'm doing, don't worry about it. Welcome to the channel today, folks. And I got to tell you, I'm loving my Park Tool PCS 10.3 bike repair rack. I'm able to do all kinds of maintenance on my electric 3.0 bike. It was super easy to set up. Super easy to fold up and store away. And I can get a lot of stuff done. Right here in the comfort of my air-conditioned living room. During the Florida heat. So here comes the demo. Today's video is going to demonstrate how an old guy lifts his electric XP e-bike, the 3.0 long range version, up safely without killing himself onto the Park Tools PCS 10.3 bicycle rack. It's actually fairly simple, it's not too tough, and it will allow me to do a lot of functions myself. So let's get right into it. So basically, I'm going to use the seat post of the bike which I have as a demo right here, the original seat post. And I'm going to attach it into the Park Tool PCS 10.3 at this point so that I can get the bike to a height where I can get the wheels off the ground and I can work on it. You simply put the clamp around the seat post and then you tighten it. And I'll show you a little bit more. Alright, so here we go. <clears throat> so what I do is I remove as much weight out of this as I can. And I also put on these forearm guards so I don't rip up my old guy's skin, which I usually do in these videos. Um, yeah, so like I said, I, I remove the battery. That takes out over seven pounds. Of weight. I get rid of this seat, uh, this new seat upgrade I did. It's a Crane Creek Bud Buster suspension post with a Cloud 9 seat. It weighs probably close to four pounds, so I get rid of that. I also remove this little lock that's part of the security matrix of locking the bike, but not the whole one. <coughs> and then I replace that suspension. Oh, and the, uh, the Crane Creek Thud Buster requires an insert on the seat post to be able to work with the XP 3.0. It's a. It fits the 31.8 diameter. Um, works great. So, anyways, I put the original electric seat post back in. Mindful to be aware of the minimum insertion point. I center the bike, I open this clamp up enough so that I get plenty of play right there. 
and now comes the part where I might hurt myself. Oh, and you might be thinking, you work on your bike in your living room? Yeah, well, I live in Florida. Luckily, I live alone, so it's not disturbing my, uh, it's not making any kind of disturbance to have to work on the bike in the living room. I put down a drop cloth, and uh, I've done a lot of maintenance on the bike already. Um, doing this this way. So, you position the bike so it's somewhat, the seat post is somewhat near the clamp area. I'm going to pull this back and as I said before, I use the front wheel as a fulcrum. Who said we never used physics in this life? And then you lift the bike up to the clamp and begin to close the clamp on the seat post. And there you have it. It's up there. From here I can work on my brakes. That's a lot of uh, the maintenance is cleaning the brakes with alcohol. And then you can spin wheels. You get a full spinning ability. Got a nice little tray here to put my tools. I can work on my derailleur. If I really needed to, I could, this tool is somewhat adjustable, so I could spin this up and get a better view, get a better angle on whatever I'm working for on. But for my purposes, this works great. I'm just gonna let it slide down to its balanced position and then tighten this back vise onto it. So that was quick and easy. That's the park tool. PCS 10.3. Putting the uh, electric 3.0 onto the bike repair stand so I can do common maintenance. Clean the chain, clean the brakes, adjust the brakes, adjust the derailleurs, change a flat if I needed to, and do a general cleaning of the bike. So I hope this video was useful. Thanks a lot for watching. Oh, you want to see me take it down? All right, here's the dangerous part. Questions, always questions. So this will be just reverse order, get a good grip on it, keep your toes out of the way, and slowly lower the bike down. Kick stand down. Thanks for tuning in folks. Peace. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Peace.